Uh, this is my second attempt guys okay check this out the video stopped exactly when shortly after I finished stating what I seen here it's like why why are these numbers here it doesn't matter what it is if it's a receipt like what a reflection of a receipt a reflection of the time there's no time that is 99.9 .9. there's no if, if it's upside down there's no time at that is 6 66 in the morning how are these green numbers as is 666 six, six? obviously it looks like a nine but that's not a proper nine so this is an uh, these are obvious sixes upside down this is not an this is not a, an accident guys okay another thing is not once did they mention Whoa, there's somebody right there. I just realized that. But not once did they mention about possible injuries. How are they doing? Are they okay? Have anyone died? And look how bad these cars look. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at least. This one's a bus. This is so weird. So I want to start somewhere in the middle. We'll say about here. Scoured the internet looking for South Braddock Avenue um, closure of today. Any reaction to the, the scene today? It's very frightening. Oh my goodness, all these um, ambulances and fire trucks and whatnot. The, just the thought of the bridge collapsing is a very scary prospect. I cross that bridge all the time. And just describe that sound that it made again. Oh, <sighs> but it wasn't one noise, it was persistent. It wasn't one noise. So it wasn't like it was a minute long. No, it was a persistent long, long. Because we'll see right now when we start at the beginning. I didn't want to start at the beginning because I wanted to show you what they cut me off because of. And then what she's about to say right here that is not a, there's not a, it's synchronous. It's obvious. Oh, it was a two-decker. See, like I said, not two-decker as in one, one above the other, but it's two of them attached. Excuse me. That's weird that the other side look. It, it only looked like it was only one. What, what happened to the to the second piece? That's so weird. But listen to what she's saying. That means it was a D dot E dot W. It's not a cons conspiracy theory, guys. It's obvious. Okay, time is due. I don't mean D U E. Okay. So some of you might know what that is. Look it up. D dot and then e as an echo dot w as in whiskey look it up so it was a long sound of what she says you'll see it i'm not saying it but i'm just re I'm, I'm i'm relaying what she's saying and she said that it sounded like a like a uh uh a snow sweeper i forget what they call it a snow plow that it was scraping the ground for a long time. A heavy snow plow scraping the ground. So it was a long... <laughs> or what not. But long, long, long. That is a directed... I'm not kidding. Energy. <laughs> Look it up. Weapon. Okay. D as in delta. Dot. E as in alcohol. Dot. W as in whiskey. Now listen to what she's going to say. The officer over there said that it might be, it might be the sound of natural gas. But then she states, well actually though, the other gentleman over here, the one from the gas company said that everything is hooked up and should be hooked up with no problem. So why did that cop say that it is the natural gas leaking? Okay. Uh, uh, uh. And then she even says, I don't know why she says, I'm ungrateful, but she, I'm sure she meant I'm grateful. I am grateful, but it almost sounds like it's ungrateful. But I'm sure she said, I am grateful uh, because everybody gets to keep warm in these times right now. Okay, so that goes to show you even she thinks that it wasn't any gas leak because it's obvious that this other guy that's a professional at the gas leak stuff said that everything is still hooked up with no problem. 
So what exactly was making the noise? I'm telling you. It was a Delta Echo. W. That's an acronym, but I said the D dot E dot W. Okay? Think about what she's about to say, guys. Um, the police officer down the road, I did ask him, and he said that was the sound of the gas um, leaking out. Vehicle right here. The gas leaking out. I'm wondering if any of our neighbors are perhaps going to be without gas, although the men, the natural gas men down here tell me everybody's still hooked up, which is unfortunate in this cold weather. I'm very grateful for that. What was your reaction to getting out? So see, she's grateful, so I don't, uh, it did sound like she said I am, uh, th that it is ungrateful, but she, obviously she didn't say ungrateful because she's glad that her, herself and her community is going to stay warm. Here and surveying the scene and seeing all this. Um, it's overwhelming. I don't know what to think. Remember, look how long she took to say that. So that means she, she was searching to say the right words to still relay the, inf the proper information without sounding like a conspiracy theorist or anything like that. And I can't tell you, most of you think that's what I am. But oh well, I got I only speak what I have video proof of or, or things like that that I can prove in some shape or form. We and it's always unbiased. No biases. Um, it's overwhelming. I don't know what to think. We don't normally get this sort of excitement in this neighborhood. The infrastructure in Pittsburgh is known to be poor with great... It's known to be poor everywhere, in America and other places, but especially in America, all the infrastructure is bad because the corrupted politicians for over 60 years have not really replaced anything. Especially the pipe under us, guys, when we have some heavy rains, they're going to freaking come apart because too much water is going to be flooding with, with sticks and rocks and things like that. It's going to disrupt all our pipelines and all that and everybody down by the sea level you guys are not safe guys for the next seven years you guys are not safe closer to the coast big cities bridges happens to be happening at the same time president biden is arriving today to talk about infrastructure which is an amazing coincidence which is an amazing coincidence look how she's look at her look look at you know her her body language, her facial features, you can tell that she, she, it's not that she believes, she obviously knows. It's like, dude, like, there's no way this is a coincidence. There's no way that the day that, you know, who she said is gonna come. It's hours before he comes. There's no way this was coincidence. There's no way this was an accident. This was meant to be. The infrastructure in Pittsburgh is known to be poor with bridges happens to be happening at the same time President Biden is arriving today to talk about infrastructure, which is an amazing coincidence. Don't forget, there is a Pittsburgh in, in, in Russia. Not only that, the, one of the streets, okay, is called Dallas. So expect something to happen in Pittsburgh, Russia, or Dallas, Texas. In the next week, less than a week. Oh, yeah, way less than a week. Uh, shortly after February 1st. All hell's gonna break. Not all hell, but hell is gonna. Well, all hell's gonna break loose in certain areas, around the world, not just in certain places. And all those migrants is not the migrants. There's certain entities within those migrants that um, don't have the best intentions for anyone. Anyone in America it has nothing to do with right with race either. They're just uh, we'll just call them Trojan horses, full of certain things inside of them to disrupt humanity. I'll just say that much. Don't forget that those prickers are technically gene, what is it, gene therapy, uh, 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 gene therapy, what would you call it, the uh, experiment? Yeah, gene therapy experiment, GTE, yeah, we'll call it that, gene therapy, GTE, gene, gene, uh, well, it's, it, Therapy is a key word because it's not therapy, okay? It's not. It's actually very bad for the soul. At the soul level, guys. Um, when was the last time that you traveled that bridge, whether it was driving or, or walking? Um, probably a few days ago. I can't say I travel it daily, but within the last week, for sure. I go to Squirrel Hill and back frequently. And again, what is it just being here in the scene? I'm being overwhelmed by reporters. And 
Um, and apart from that, it's cold, and I'm just so grateful we have so many first responders who know what to do in these emergencies and are out there doing it. How close do you live to this scene? And are out there doing it like others are not. Like they're not fixing the infrastructure. The firefighters, they, they care. They're, they're a fire. They're they're firefighters because they care about humanity. They care about their communities and all that good stuff. So she understands that type of being that is good and it's out there doing their work. And look how she said it. Uh, but apart from that, it's cold, and I'm just so grateful we have so many first responders who know what to do in these emergencies and are out there doing it. Who know what to do in these emergencies? Look how she kind of uses her eyes. I mean, you know, like the person I just talked about a few minutes ago, they don't know what they're doing at all. And they're not doing it at all, either. Even what they're claiming what they're doing. How close do you live to this scene? Could you just describe again what you were hearing earlier this morning? A couple of blocks down the road. Um, down here in South Braddock Avenue, and it was a loud <laughs> sound. So you live a couple of blocks down the road. You say you traveled. Look at this. I could only see one here, one bus. What happened to the other one? It, there's no way it's this one. And there's none right here. But in the other picture, it looked like there was one here and then one over here. Like, it's so weird. I don't understand where it went. Oh, you know what? Here it is. There's a line here that makes this one, and then that's the edge of the other one facing that way. I with this bridge before. I mean, has there any, has there ever been any signs of, you know, feeling un unsafe or, or shakiness before? It's funny you should ask that. Over the years, there's been a kathump, kathump. Um, I used to be with the Homewood Community Gardens when that community was just over the other side of the bridge, so I went back and forth several times a day. And there's often like a crater at the end of the bridge. It gets fixed every year, so it's not there all the time. But it seemed like every winter, the pothole and the rift was a major thing. I have no idea whether that's connected to the current problem or not. But look, if those things are at the edges, meaning where the bridge goes over, at the edges. And if you look at, right now, they'll show it again, you'll see that it... it the bridge will not collapse like that from one tip to the other. The only way they can collapse is if the middle collapsed. Okay? It, it doesn't take rocket science to understand that. Simple physics. Simple. Simple physics. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I was innocently reading a book. Quiet, snowy morning. And suddenly we have all this drama. by this bridge collapse are feeling going through right now? I bet a lot of them don't even know it yet. It's early, the commuters aren't out. If they haven't been watching the news, people might not know. And the people who may be stranded or need to be rescued? Are there people who are stranded and need to be rescued? I don't know, okay. Are there people stuck up there? I don't know, I've only just come this far down the road. I do not know the full story. Well, Ms. Wendy, thank you so much for, for doing this with us. We appreciate it. You know, glad that you're safe. Uh, and, and, you know, that is nine, on, on our nine, side. Nine, that is uh, six, six, six. what we are hearing from some residents and neighbors in the area, just about what they heard this morning, what they are uh, seeing and what they are feeling, the noises of the impact of when that bridge collapsed earlier this morning. Think about it, guys. There's nothing here that... The only way that sound would be making if someone was down there fucking cutting something. Like she said. Or something come... L A Z E R Coming from the top. Okay, to... we And, and, and adding some weird electromagnetic stuff that kind of melted. Not melted, but um, pulverized certain metals certain concrete does that ring a bell towers double twins where did they go guys look, look at all the information again it's not hidden anymore you can't hide it look at all the information you'll see that there wasn't enough debris there was, that that debris of those buildings would fill up more more than in, more than uh, what was it at least three blocks radius but when you see all the videos 
there's only a little lump left and it, was, it wasn't that people were filming after they did it. There's no way to be able to clean up all that in less than a full day because they were recording since it happened, right? Supposedly. But there was not much debris left, guys. That is an impossibility technically in physics and different things. So what was making that sound? This falling will only be a clunk, 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 clunk. Or something. But it wouldn't be a long... <laughs> something was cutting it, guys. Because th this collapsed from the middle. We are still working to get more information. So as we start to learn more, talking to more neighbors and also speaking with a uh, public information officer on scene, we will make sure to keep you updated with what we find out, Heather. Right, Brian. And nice to hear the perspective of a neighbor that... Uh, Dallas, like I told you, okay, I'm telling you guys, look at the movie, A Beautiful Mind, and you'll see that it's a true story, okay, it's a true story, and he was given a, 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 a goodness, what is it called, I forgot what it is, because most of, most of the recipients are bullshit, they're evil, they're devils, they're, they, they're fake, in the sense that they give fake information out. To program people to become more docile and stupid. Really? Really? What the? F what is that thing, that, that honorable th thing that it was awarded to people? <sighs> I forgot what it was called. I almost had it, but I forgot. Anyways. Mm, I almost had it. Golden, not, not the Golden Globe. What is it called? Noble, Noble Prize, I think, Noble Prize winner. Okay, he was a Noble Prize winner, the, the 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 one that they made the movie of. But very intelligent man, very smart, everything. But look what his intelligence started to notice that there was code in plain sight. Okay, this is code in plain sight. Dallas, get ready for something crazy in the next week before February second. Okay, and the next one, like I said, Pittsburgh. For there, who, who knows that area, who's familiar with that area, giving us some insight into this place. Who, who knows that area, who's familiar with that. We want to go back out to Brian Reed. I know that he is speaking with some... <laughs> Forbes, are you kidding me? Okay, here's more code, okay? This is code, guys. Trust me. It is code. Julia and Brian, you're hearing a little bit more about what they heard and saw. This. this is code. Even though this is real, this is code. This is code. They made this happen in a certain place to send the code out. So people can realize, oh, duh, huh. He's supposed to get there and then this happens there. So we need to look for certain things so that we know what's next. Meaning the bad guys. Yeah, Heather, I have Miss Wendy Stro here with me. She says that she lives in the area. And Miss Wendy, I just want to ask you, you know, you say that you heard everything. W what was that like? What did it sound like? It sounded like a huge snow plow, sorry, um, pushing along a raw tarmac surface with no snow. So I went to the window to look for this big snow plow. My inner child wanted to see the excitement. And I couldn't My inner child wanted to see the excitement. This goes to tell you. Now she's awakened enough and understands that there's an inner child inside of us that even no matter how old we get, we must nurture it. And thus, this is a Nazareth state. So we want to enter the kingdom of heaven, meaning when he was replying to uh, Apostle Paul, when he, when he asked Jesus of Nazareth, how can, but how can we enter the kingdom of heaven if we already sinned as adults? And, he said, and Jesus of Nazareth replied with, in order to enter the kingdom of heaven, one must become as a child. It doesn't mean like uh, 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 what is it? Function like a child, be immature as an adult. No, it means perceive like a child, unconditionally loving, no judging, no color differentiation. They just want to have fun with all kids. Doesn't matter what color they are, what shape they are. They just want to have fun, and have a good time. Don't worry about rent, nothing. Coming from the front corner of my apartment. 
you have any idea of what it was at the time compared to when you started seeing first responders? No, it's as I say, it sounded like a huge snowplow, and then I wondered if... I get it now. Look at all these names that they're mentioning, you guys. Okay? <laughs> I get it now. That's crazy. I can't even say it because <laughs> you guys would really think I'm crazy if I would mention what it really is. And it's this truth, guys, but I cannot say it. But if perhaps it was a fire company spraying water heavily or something like that, but yet I could see no flames down the street, I could see no trucks, no smoke, I didn't know what it was. So how did you find out what happened? I scoured the internet looking for South Braddock Avenue um, closure today. Any reaction to the, the scene today? It's very... F so I'm assuming that this slid down that way. Yeah, it had to. Frightening. Oh my goodness, all these um, ambulances and... Watch when they show the one on this side. I want to see the, the edge. Because remember, she said that there was a, sometimes there's a huge pothole at the edges. There can't be a pothole uh, on the bridge, okay? Boxing is a very scary prospect. I cross that bridge all the time. And just describe that sound that it made again. <sighs> but it wasn't one noise, it was persistent. Um, the police officer down the... It wasn't one noise, it was persistent. <sighs> but it wasn't one noise, it was persistent. Um, the police officer down the road, I did ask him, and he said that was the sound of the gas. Look, if there was a problem here or the other side, like she mentioned earlier, meaning towards the end of the interview, but I put it, well, she said it in a little bit, but anyways, look at that's a car right there. So anyways, if there, if there was a power, like she said, either here or the other side, that gets fixed all the time, no problem. Why? Because think about it here, going that way, right? Meaning, if you're on a car here and you're going that way, it'll be straight, right? If the bridge was there. So, if this pothole made this just drop, it would just drop here. But the whole bridge wouldn't drop. This is telling you that something in the middle was, like she said, sounding like something was scraping on the tarmac. Which is what? Something was scraping on the tarmac. But it definitely wasn't no, it wasn't this bus that was all flat and it was being dragged. Even if it was being dragged, they wouldn't bring this bridge down. Something was down here cutting the, the support beams. And that's why this thing fell. I can understand if it was raining insanely and then a huge uh, 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 overload of water was coming. And it washed away the foundation and boom, make, and therefore it made a collapse. But no, guys, this was intentional. Again, listen to what she's going to say. Leaking out. I mean, just hearing that, I oh, yeah. Noise, it was persistent. Um, the police officer down the road, I did ask him, and he said that was the sound of the gas. Um, leaking out. I mean, just hearing that explanation, what's going through your mind right now? I'm wondering if any of our neighbors are perhaps going to be without gas, although the men, the natural gas men down here tell me everybody's still hooked up, which is... I'm fortunate in this cold weather. I'm very grateful. Okay, she said, I'm fortunate. That's what she said. I am fortunate. I thought she said, which is unfortunate. But then she says, I'm grateful. So even if she w did have mess up, which is possible because it's so cold. If you haven't been in extreme cold, you you really can't talk very well if you're out there for several minutes. Okay? Why? Because you start to shiver a lot. Your jaw starts to lock up. Your lips can't really move very well. Truly. I know because I lived in Alaska for six years. Before that. What was your reaction to getting out of here and surveying the scene and seeing all this? Um, it's overwhelming. I don't know what to think. We don't normally get this sort of excitement in this neighborhood. The infrastructure in Pittsburgh is known to be poor with bridges. It happens to be happening at the same time President Biden is arriving today to talk about infrastructure, which is an amazing coincidence. Um, Come on, man. Nothing is coincidence, guys, man. Stop ignoring. Stop being ignorant. I know you can feel something's wrong, but you just turn the cheek because, first of all, you're too busy. You got to get back to work because you got to feed your children, right? <laughs> guys, some, some <laughs> all I got to say is normal work, normal jobs, is not, <laughs> they're, they're going to be obsolete very soon. And, and it's beyond the AI stuff and I'm telling you guys, because because the world is gonna change even after the destruction is over. We're gonna adapt, adjust, and overcome, and and work will be considered different. Trust me, guys. It's, we're not gonna work for money. 
We're gonna work to make our communities better, and we're gonna have everything we need. And no, it's not like a like the media is making it seem that it's a socialism and this and that. No, we all had the right to not have to buy what makes us live, which is what food, and what makes us happy, or at least feel comfortable, or at least feel security, is to have a roof over our heads. That is God-given rights, Creator-given rights, in the sense that. We shouldn't pay each other to help each uh, We should have to pay someone to be able to help each other legally. That is fucking ridiculous, guys. Come on. If you don't have family members or friends that can help you build a foundation, and then another one that can help you build walls, and then you can install carpet, and then another one can install roofs and all that that's your problem that's your fault but i guarantee you all of you really do and if you don't you can if you were to organize and just ask around you will find everything you would need and you wouldn't need money because others might not have food but you do because you know how to grow or whatnot but another one might know it's a carpenter so you just you just collaborate hey i notice you you do not you don't have time to have food and i don't want you to uh, um struggle with that so I can give you food since it's easy for me to make food but I need you to create this other building for XYZ reason or whatever and they'll be like okay yeah no problem you don't need money guys we don't we do not even to acquire things we do not need money again our service our efforts are the currency our relationships are the currencies I know it's very, very, very difficult, especially for you motherfucking PhDs, got people. Nothing against you, okay? Especially of you who really do care about humanity. But others, it's not that they don't care. It's they're forced to not care. They're forced to not be able to do what they really want to do as compassionate, uh, uh, sympathetic human beings wanting to help others. The nurses will let you know that they are restricted from doing things that actually really do help the patient. I seen it with my own two eyes when I was in uh, over a month with my mother being poisoned. And there was nothing I can do about it. Because if I wrote tell, what was going to do? Yeah, kill the doctor and then what? I go to jail? And then what happens? Nothing. I, I'll be rotten in hell even though I'm not dead in jail. So... Trust me, guys. <laughs> we pretty soon the truth is gonna come out. You're gonna be like, wait, 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 wait a fucking minute. You're telling me my loved one should be alive right now, and certain individuals and in basically they're gonna have to say it, the truth. They were murdered. I cannot make this stuff up, guys. And I'm not gonna uh, 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 look for vengeance because that just makes me worse than them. Okay. We must laugh at the face of our helplessness or go insane. And we must accept the things we cannot change. That's what I did. I accepted the things I couldn't change. And now I'm going to do. The, I'm gonna change the things I can. How? Just by creating more abundance. I'm going to do everything opposite that they're trying to do to humanity. I'm going to give so much stuff nearly free. Nearly free that should cost hundreds of thousands of dollars that would generate money for as long as electricity and internet work. For entire families, okay? So please, guys, stop being fooled. When was the last time that you traveled that bridge? Whether it was tra so that's that's it is what it is. There's my rant for today. Stop taking things personal, and you and do the mathematics of what I'm saying, and you see, you'll see that I don't talk shit. I don't talk lies. I don't talk biases. Cross reference what I say, you you'll see like, okay, this is not a bias. This is not technically his opinion. I can see that he gives us the, the uh, what he's reporting on neutrally and then he adds his perspective of it but without biases. That's interesting that this man does that, meaning me. Trust me guys, I've been working to be able to project in a sense or express or uh, relay information without biases. Because once you use biases, trust me, you someone you might not see it but life reacts to it and reciprocates this is why i choose not to do anything negative evil nothing like that the worst i can do is raise my voice <laughs> and be brutally honest without talking shit without 
uh, uh, criticizing someone. No, I'm just giving a perspective of an observation given by the person's body language, question, cl complain, whatever it may be. And again, is after they ask. I don't just go out of my way and say, hey, you're a piece of shit for eating meat. And technically, that's what's inside of you. Fucking over 15 pounds of really old shit. And there's over, over 10 pounds of shit that just been accumulated since when you were a child. Even if you're 45 or like her, she's probably like 47, 48 years old. So stop being ignorant. Listen to your heart. <laughs> the Bibles tell you not to listen to your heart. And I know you can feel it that something's not right. Something's not right. Stop ignoring that, please. Peace be with you at all times. We're only limited to our creativity.